Hello, it's Mr. Thompson here again, and I'm going to talk you through how to express one quantity uh, as a percentage of another. Uh, grade D at GCSE and level 6 at Key Stage 3. Okay, so let's take a look at this, this first example. Um, it's asking us to express 15 as a percentage of 20. Now, in order to do this, um, one of the most important things you can remember here is that in maths, percentage means out of 100. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to do this using equivalent fractions. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is write our number, express 15 as a percentage of 50, uh, sorry, as a percentage of 20. So that is 15 out of 20. So we're going to write that using a fraction. That's 15 out of 20. 20. Now, because percentage means out of 100, what we want to do is find a, a, an equivalent fraction where that is out of 100. And in this instance, it's relatively straightforward because 20 goes nicely into 100. In fact, 20 times 5 gives us 100. So that's exactly what we're going to do to the numerator. We've multiplied 20, the denominator by 5, so we're going to do the same to the numerator. So when I multiply that by 5 as well, we come out with 75. Now, we're not quite finished here, because we've worked out 75 out of 100. Now that's what percent means. So just to finish off here, we are going to do... 75%. So that what is essentially what that means is that 15 is 75% of 20 and we've calculated that using equivalent fractions. Um, now what we've done here is 20 goes nicely into 100. Now that won't always happen and that's what I'm going to do for the next example. So if we take a look at my next question here, and I've changed the question, it says express 36 as a percentage of 40. So once again, we're looking to make it out of 100. So as before, the first thing I'm going to do is write my fraction. So 36 out of 40. 36 out of 40. Now before we were using 20 as the denominator, and that went nicely into 100. There is no integer, remember by integer I mean whole number, that we can multiply 40 by to get over 100. So in these, kinds, the, in these types of questions, there is going to be an additional step. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try and get it as an equivalent fraction over 1. Okay, And to do that, we ask ourselves, how many 1s are there in 40? Well, 40. So we have divided this by 40 to get to 1. Remember, like we did last time, whatever we do to the denominator, we also have to do to the numerator in order to keep it as an equivalent fraction. So I'm now going to do 36 divided by 40, and that gives me 0 0.9. You may need to use your calculator for that one. OK, now we have it over 1, I can now find another equivalent fraction. It doesn't matter, again, whatever we do to the t a numerator, as long as we do to the denominator and vice versa, um, with it only in regards to multiplying and dividing, of course. So, now I've got it over 1, but I want to have it over 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by 100. There are 100 ones in 100. So that's exactly what we're going to do to the numerator as well. So when we multiply this by 100, 0 0.9 by 100, I end up with 90. Now, once again, as soon as we have it out of 100, then we've got exactly what we need to be able to express it as a percentage, which is what the question is asking of us. So 90 out of 100 simply becomes 90 percent, which means that 36 is 90 percent of 40. Okay, so um, getting a little bit more difficult now, uh, we're being asked to express 0 0.3 as a percentage of 0 0.5. Uh, now once again, just as always, uh, we're going to write that as a fraction. So that's 0 0.3 over 0 0.5. 
Okay. Now remember, what we want to do is we want to get it out of 100. Now there is a nice whole number that we could multiply 0 0.5 by to get 100, but the decimals won't always be that nice. And this is what makes this question a little more difficult. So what we're going to do is we want to get it, always if in doubt, try and get it written over the fraction, find an equivalent fraction written over 1. Now what we're going to do now, we want to find out what uh, we want to find out what we um, either divide or multiply 0 0.5 to get to 1. In this case, we can either we can see that there are zero there are two 0 0.5s in 1. So we could actually multiply by 2. However, the decimals won't always be this nice. Now, while this would work in um, in this example, what I would actually suggest you do is, if I rub this one out, is if you actually divide by the denominator. So I'm going to divide this by 0 0.5. This will always, if we divide by the denominator, this will always give us 1. Think about it in terms of how many 0.5s are there in 0.5 so there will always uh, be 1 this will always make 1 ok so we have divided this by 0.5 so we are also going to divide this by 0.5 now you may need a calculator to do this um, if you haven't quite grasped the idea of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.5 which actually comes out as 0 0.6. Once we've got to this stage we know exactly what we're going to do from previous examples so we want to make it out of 100. So to get to 100 we are multiplying by 100 so that's exactly once again what we're going to do to my numerator so 0 0.6 times 100 gives me 60 now remember not quite finished here yet as always we need to turn this into a percentage and seeing as percent means out of 100 60 out of 100 is the same as 60 percent so 0 0.3 is 60 percent of 0 0.5 I'm going to do one more example um, and you have to be careful with these types of example. Okay, so this final example is asking us to express 70 centimeters as a percentage of 2 meters. Now, this is the type of worded question that you might get in some test or exam. What we need to do here is something I didn't mention towards the start of the video is that when you do this, when you are given units they need to be in the same units in order to calculate them as a percentage so you just need to be very careful of these types of questions so there are two options here we are given 70 centimeters as a percentage of 2 meters now we cannot do this at the minute because as I said they are in different units so we need to either convert the centimeters into meters or the meters into centimeters it does not matter which way around you do it I am going to convert the centimetres into metres. So, because there are 100 centimetres in a metre, 70 centimetres is equivalent, sorry, 70 centimetres is equivalent to 0 0.7 metres. And 2 metres can stay as it is, as that's already in metres. So what we can do now, is we can actually because one because two goes nicely into 100 we can actually just multiply this by 50 and that's exactly what we're going to do to the top remember if two didn't go nicely into 100 I would have to go to over one meter first so what I'm going to do 0 0.7 times 50 because that's what we've done to the denominator, so we're going to do the same to the numerator, gives me 35. So, as a percentage, remember the last step, as a percentage, because that's now of, out of 100, we can say that 70 centimetres is 35% of 
of 2 meters and we've now calculated that so just be very careful of any question that um, is given to you it asks you to express one quantity as a percentage of the other whether units are not the same you just need to be very careful and watch out for where you need to convert okay I hope that's been very useful um, please have a look at my YouTube channel if you are stuck with any other area of your areas of your maths um, or let me know if you would like me to do a video on any topic that you may be struggling with okay thank you very much until next time goodbye